Hi, how are you today? This is Pastor Dan uh, doing Spotlight again. Thank you for being with us. Christmas season, the God who always comes. We're going to loop back now to Daniel. You know the stories of Daniel, the great stories. One of the great stories is in Daniel 10. Daniel is freaked out about what uh, he has seen. He's had these great visions, 2,300 days and the 490 weeks, and he's trying to put it all together. But whatever it means, it probably means there's going to be a lot of time. Not going to be tomorrow. Not going to be when he wanted it to have all work out and everyone back to Jerusalem and out of captivity. Come on, God, let's hurry this up. And he's scared and he's in anguish. And it just sounds like he is exhausted and he's tired and he falls to the ground and he goes into a deep sleep. And here comes this message. We don't know exactly who this is. There is a camp that said, this is Michael, this is, this is, this is Jesus himself. That Christ himself came from heaven to say, Satan tried to stop him, the prince of Persia tried to stop him. He said, I have, I have gone past that. Michael, help me, the archangel. So is it an angel? Is it Jesus himself, Christ? Someone from God. God sent someone. And what Daniel needed, he got. Yeah, he needed explanation about the time he gave him hope. When he needed explanation of the words, he explained the words to him. Whatever Daniel needed, he needed strength. He gave him strength. He gave him power. Whenever you're down, God will send someone. Because I will never leave you. Though I am with you always. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. With me. I have called you friends. It's the great message of the gospel, the God who comes. He comes in the great moments of salvation history. He comes at creation. He comes at Mount Sinai. He comes when Jesus was here. He comes in the second coming. But in between, he also comes. Whenever you're hurting, David came back to Ziklag, 1 Samuel 30. There's no one, there's no one there. His wives are all gone, and the houses have been burned. The kids are gone. The animals are gone. There's nothing. And his old men pick up stones to stone him. And it says in verse 6, David strengthened himself in the Lord. God came to him. Can you find that God? Do you know how to call on God and he will come to you? Elisha came to the same river when Elijah was gone and he said, how am I going to cross this river? Elijah is gone. He said, God has to be here. And God came and opened up the water. Do you know a God who will always be there? God comes to Daniel and he says, you are highly esteemed. Don't be afraid. God thinks a lot of you. Wouldn't that be great to hear? God thinks a lot of you. You're highly esteemed. I have run out of gas. Call my family. Can you come get me? <laughs> they come. When my father got hit by a truck, the waiting room was full of my friends who left work and, and came to be with me. A guy got hit in Vietnam and then the bullets were flying and the captain called everyone to retreat. But his best friend went through the bullets. The captain yelled at him, don't you go. Come back. I order you to come back. He ran through the hail of bullets, grabbed his friend, put him over his shoulder and ran back. And his friend said, I knew you would come. I knew you would come. God comes. Desmond Doss went back 70 sometimes. To go get one more soldier to lower him down to safety. Our God will always come wherever you are. He knows where you are. He knows what's going on. And he will give you exactly what you need. You have to be able to do it. Maybe you won't get to be able to call a pastor or a counselor or a friend or anyone else. And you have to be able to go to God himself and he will come. That's why these great moments of scripture are for us. Because he's come every time. He will come for you. He will come for me. He's come for me. There have been times where I just, oh, I can't face this. I don't know how to do this. It's too big for me. And somehow money comes or someone comes or somehow the next day the sun comes up and it works out. 
and we can go on. And the story of Daniel 10 is that you can always count on God. He knows, he knows where you are and he will send someone or he'll come himself from heaven and he will be here for us. That's the Christmas message. I pray that you will experience it and be blessed by it. I can't tell you you hear a voice, but I can assure you that God is with you. He will be riding shotgun with you all the time. He is your wingman. He's in the middle of your life. He's within you. And I take this verse absolutely literally. I will never leave you. I am with you always. This is Spotlight. This is Christmas. Thanks for being with us. God bless you. Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.